We're only going to have two and a half hours at your mum's, if that, because we get back at two. By the time we eat, it's going to be half two, but at least we're going to have an hour at your mum's. Brilliant. Well, I told you to get moving. I mean, you're the one that didn't get ready. What? I was ready and like, I got to go check my oil when you fucking started play fighting. No. It's not, never how it works. to my mum's and emptied my wardrobe and I've emptied my drawers apart from what I'm gonna wear Saturday um yeah it's literally all in my mum's room <laughs> it's still on what I'm taking so we've got back and I basically got like 40 minutes until I need to leave again to go to work because I'm doing front of house at the arena. I'm so tired. <laughs> I just want to go to sleep. That's all I want to do. Back on. I have no idea what the last bit useful was, but I went to work. It's now the next day, by the way. Um, I went to work. Um, I was doing front of house for Bill Bailey, and honestly, it was the greatest gig of my life. It was so good. Like I really, really enjoyed it, and it was just, it's just great. It was just so funny and so relatable. But the best bit, which made me laugh, was when he went off stage. Um, it was all like curtains around the children, and um, he uh, he thought he'd got to like where he was going and try to come through the curtain because somebody from the security team had um, left the curtain open and so you could see right down the back and um, <laughs> yeah he just was like peeping around the corner and, and I was like are you alright and he was like yeah I just like watching the audience leave <laughs> but then people saw him so I had to like quickly grab the curtain and like shut it and stuff it was a good gig I really enjoyed it like, I would love to be a drinking buddy. That would be, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna pop off because it's an exciting day. Um, 